Hi everyone and welcome to the Witch Doctor's Guide to Service Now and finally episode 37. I think it's a year or two since the last one. Hopefully we'll get some more coming up and not wait a year or two for the next one. Today's episode is about a community request. They wanted to have some help where we are looking for restricting the user that they need to have a PDF file attached to the catalog item before submitting. So this is basically me if you haven't seen or heard me before you can connect to me on the on the links below and you can read a little bit about me what i have done and what i'm actually doing i will not spend time on that today um, last but not least a very simple agenda you know me i don't like to do the powerpoint i like to do the show and tell instead but i'm just going to show you a simple way how to do it with the catalog client script so let's get over there so here you can see I'm having the out of the box employee portal and just took a, a catalog item from there and you can see if I hit submit now it will complain you need to attach a PDF I'll hit OK you can also see that if I try to attach uh, for example an image file and hit submit you can see it still complains you need to have a PDF so let's let's give them a good pdf oh i can't do it like that i need to click on the attachment and then drag it over and everybody knows security oh it's freaking out now hold on <laughs> let me try again so add attachment there we go and i'll just drag it over and let it go why is this one messing with me this is typical let me try another one. Uh, and there we go. Hmm, that's weird. Well, we uploaded a PDF. It's a little bit bigger, take a look one. But you can see the PDF file is now there. And I hit submit. And we're done. It let us submit. So, how have we done this? So, I basically just did uh, an on submit catalog client for item I did and just going through shortly what I have done let me see if I can uh, enhance it even a little bit more like that and we'll do it like this so first I need to take a look are there any attachments and this is basically what this one is looking if I don't have an attachment the attachments element will be undefined then we know We'll just throw up an alert and as it's on submit script we'll just return false well we know there is attachment so and this attachment is basically an array of objects uh, so we are getting that one here and then we're going to go through and looking at those objects they have a, uh, a parameter called ext like you can see i'm looking at here which defines if it's a PDF or is it JPEG or whatever it is. So let's go through those and see if we find a PDF. Um, hold on, I can just see now I'm doing it twice. Huh, I can actually remove this one. This was from my old part. I, I'm not using this anymore. And you can see that because it's grayed out. So I can basically use that. And there we go. So let's go through and see if we find a PDF. Then we return true. You're allowed to save. Otherwise, return false. So, and we know when we're doing a return, we will not run the rest of the code. That's why I just put it down here to make it simple. And as usual, this is just a proof of concept. So make sure that you test it before you actually apply it to prod. I have actually uploaded this little snippet to my GitHub. So if you go to uh, github.servicenowwitchdoctor.com it should work come on it worked two seconds ago okay i'll just do it like this github.com slash goran language works as well and let me go into my repository youtube and you can see we have episode 37 validate attachment you can see in the readme file i actually have a 
example how it will look like if you have two uh, attachment on the file this is what you get back and you can see there's quite a, a good chunk of stuff that you can uh, use and look for and, and so on as well depending on what you want to do um, so i think that's that's it for me so hopefully this will help you solve the issue you have and hopefully i can make more videos soon see you around